Today, Candace is cooking. Creamy garlic and mushroom pasta. Looks great. Hello, I'm Ken, and this is Candace from KVD Productions TV. Welcome back to another Ken and Candace Veg and Review. How are you doing today? I'm good. How are you? All We're right. Fist pumping today. Fist pumping today. I like it. Yes. Uh, so, what are you cooking for me today? Today, I am going to make a creamy garlic and mushroom pasta. And mushrooms is my favorite thing of all time, so I cannot wait for this. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> to make this, we need mushrooms, obviously, for a mushroom pasta. We also need onions cashews, pasta, duh, salt, lemon juice, garlic, and sun-dried tomatoes. That's it. And of course pasta. And a blender. The first thing we're gonna do is get uh, this pasta into the pan, because it's gonna take about 10 minutes. We can do everything else in that time. Voila, and today I'm doing penne rigate. Okay, but you can do. reason? That no, reason. that's just, what I had in my pantry was this or macaroni, and I thought macaroni was too low class for this meal. <laughs> do, you, do, you, do you put anything in the water, or do you just go straight I up? salted the water okay. um, with just a pinch of salt, okay. and that's it. Excellent. Boiling hot water, so we're going to let that sit there and boil back up and cook. So I'm just going to turn on the heat to like medium heat for this frying pan, and heat up some olive oil, about a tablespoon. So we're just gonna heat up this oil. Give that a couple minutes. So while that's heating up, we can chop up, or mince to use an actual cooking term. Uh, mince up our garlic. I have four garlic cloves. Or I guess that's actually five. So five garlic cloves, five small ones. So I'm just gonna crush them and peel them. Roughly chop. Just getting it down and to the point, nice and small. It's not a big deal because it's all going into a blender afterwards anyway. All right. We're gonna add our finely chopped onions. I'm just using like a normal white cooking onion today. How many onions would you have had in there? This is one. That's one big onion. That's one big onion. Nice. We're gonna cook that down along with the garlic. Just gonna put that in here as well. I'm gonna cook that for three to five minutes just to soften up. And then eventually, once this is cooked and soft and less bitter and abrasive and strong when you taste it, it's going to go into the blender. Okay, so I kind of pre-cut some of these, but they're still a little bit larger. Plus, I didn't want to have everything pre-cut when you got here. Sure. Because then we would have no footage. Uh, but some of these are still pretty big, so I'm just gonna chop them down probably about We want like bite-sized pieces, so right. this is like perfect And fun fact you actually shouldn't wash mushrooms What? Yeah, you're supposed to like with a damp cloth or with a mushroom brush brush the dirt off Because they don't cook as well if you wash them I've always washed my mushrooms. I know I spent because years washing they, my mushrooms because of what they grow on Okay, this pasta's ready. Let's drain it. Look at all that steam. Yummy. It survived though. And I'm just gonna put cold water over it to get the starch out. Um, okay, so that's in there. Ready to go. I'm gonna turn this off. We're gonna put some stuff in a blender here. So I have cashews as the base of our sauce. Okay. This is gonna make it nice and creamy. Love cashews. We're going to add water. How, how much water? This is two cups of water. And, how many? and half a cup of cashews. Right. This ah. is a tablespoon of lemon juice. Nice. And this is about a teaspoon of salt. That's the pink Himalayan it looks like. It is. You can also use sea salt or table salt. Whatever salt you have access to. And then, I'm just gonna blend this guy up until it's smooth. Noisy time. Noisy time. Now we're going to add our garlic and our onions to the sauce. Nice. And this is what's going to make our sauce. Nice. I'm going to pop the lid back on here and blend it again. All right, so that sauce is done. I'm just going to move that aside. 
Um, I reheated the same pan, because why dirty another pan? I'm just gonna put a, about a tablespoon of olive oil in there, and then we're gonna toss in our mushrooms. Nice. And let's do a little bit of pepper. There's quite a bit of salt in that sauce, so we'll, we won't cook the onions with salt. Oh, sorry, we won't cook the mushrooms with too much salt. We'll start with pepper and go from there. We're gonna cook these down for about five to 10 minutes. Look at these shroomies. They look amazing. It smells good too. Oh my God, they smell so good. I'm gonna add a little bit of parsley. This is about a teaspoon. A little bit of parsley. This is just dried parsley. And now we're going to add our garlic cream sauce. Nice. So we're gonna cook this for about five minutes or so, whoops, until it's reduced a little bit and thickened up, and then we're gonna toss our pasta with it. All right, we're gonna put everything back into this pot. So we're gonna put the pasta in there, ooh. It's a nice shape. It's a nice shape. Full shaped pasta. It's gonna pour the sauce oh right into the pasta. All right, let's do this two-handed thing again. Ooh. I'm just gonna mix it up. I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit of parsley on it. Um, maybe a little bit of paprika, and then we're gonna put these sun-dried tomatoes on top. Ooh. Okay, so that's coated. Look at that. I'm gonna dish her out. Mmm. Let's get lots of mushrooms. Yes, please. Sun dried tomato. That looks fabulous. A touch of parsley. That looks absolutely fantastic. There we have it. Okay, it is time to eat the creamy garlic mushroom uh, on noodles that Candace has made. It looks absolutely fantastic. It smells great. I'm gonna try it with the, the, one of the sun-dried tomatoes. You're saying that the sun-dried tomatoes will add a nice salty kick to it? Absolutely. Oh, well, let's do it. Mmm. That is really good. Uh, I'm gonna just do it without the... Definitely tasted good with. I just wanna see what it tastes like without. <laughs> Wrong. Sorry. That's mine. You <laughs> cannot have. <laughs> Again, anything with mushrooms in it, I absolutely love. The fact that you used uh, cashews in this uh, sauce is fascinating. I'd never thought of any, anybody doing that ever, and it worked out great. How creamy that is, and it's like nuts. <laughs> in two nuts ways. Nuts for pasta. Nuts for pasta. Well, I'm glad that you like it. What is your favorite uh, things about this? Flavors, textures, what? Um, I am a huge comfort food person, so I love pasta. And growing up, I really loved creamy pasta. So I love the creaminess and the fact that it's better for you because it's made with cashews, so it's lower in fat. Um, and you also have the, like, it's not just cashews, it's cashews mixed with garlic and onion. So that's what's really giving it that, like, awesome, almost like fettuccine-like flavor. And my daughter, who's a vegetarian, will love this because, uh, she likes mushrooms, whereas my son and my wife don't like mushrooms. So really, yeah, this, this is funny because and you love mushrooms. And I love mushrooms. My daughter loves mushrooms, and I'm thinking this like my whole family would eat that, except the fact that there's mushrooms in it. But you can uh, put other vegetables in there though as well. That's true. What would you recommend? I've done this with wilted spinach. Okay, that's very good. Um, what else could you toss in here? Red pepper. This would be good um, with um, broccoli. Yes broccoli. I would pan cook the broccoli first okay. or even roast it in the oven. Okay. And then put it in the same way that we did the mushrooms. How so we cooked the mushrooms and then added the sauce in afterwards. As you can see that the fact that I'm non-stop eating this, I really enjoy this a lot. Mm. Ooh, you can't have any. Mm. The sun-dried tomatoes are fantastic. I, the, only, the only problem I have with this is I'd use a spoon. Because like trying to oh, stab. Oh, do you want a spoon? I can get. I have those. Let's try it with a spoon. See if we we can. Because let's both eat it with a spoon. Because this looks like a spoon. Like I'm trying to stab everything and it's just not working. But to scoop, look, it oh, instantly have me. a look mouthful. Mm. 
And that's why I need this. I'm not putting too much in my mouth here. Wow. Definitely a spoon meal. All right, Candace, I'd like to thank you very much for this awesome meal. I'm so glad you enjoyed it. I cannot wait to actually try this one at home. I am definitely gonna give it a shot. Uh, I'll maybe just do uh, one with mushrooms and then one with broccoli, so both sides of my family could uh, enjoy that. Yeah, but everybody's happy. It is such an easy, easy recipe. I hope you guys give it a shot. Uh, if you wanna check out some more recipes, go over to Candace's social media and website. Let them know what it is. Yeah, so at, at edgy veg on everything or the edgyveg.com or youtube.com slash edgy veg. If you like these videos, guys, and you don't want to miss another one, please hit that subscribe button. But if you love this video and you want to try this recipe, give it a thumbs up. Ding, 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 ding. And we'll see you next time on another Ken and Candace. Veg in review. Talk to you guys later. Bye. Bye. All right, so we, <clears throat> wow. Do we have to do the today Candace's coffee? <gasps> Brilliant. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Why do I do that every single show almost?